Hey everybody, sorry my cigarette. Happy turn of Thursday. Happy turn of Thursday, or is it? <laughs> I hope everybody's having an amazing week. Um, I'm probably gonna do another video with the readings. I have all my cards out, but um, as usual, I had this little epiphany, and um, I just kind of wanted to share. And maybe, and maybe triggering <laughs> for some. Yay! Um, which hopefully encourages people to take a look at some things. And you know, whatever. If not, that's okay either. Or two. <clears throat> so, I already made the video about the guy, uh, <laughs> the guy that came into the open shelter. Um, and then I got a notification that Galaxy had his wellness, his sickness appointment today. I forgot, um, you know, three weeks ago, um, he had the eye infection I talked about. But Sarah at the open shelter, who was breastfeeding, um, couldn't pump enough milk one day. And she told me about the amazing benefits <laughs> and healing benefits of breast milk. And I was like, really? I had no idea. I call it boob juice, by the way. <laughs> I call it boob juice. <laughs> and I would say, give me some of that boob juice. Um, and what's funny is that, um, there's a few little stories here if you want to laugh. So, uh, when the day she gave me the boob juice, it was like in a water bottle and I, you know, tightened it or whatever. And then I put it like in a Ziploc bag that had some like little snack foods in there that I got from the open shower, like a lunch. And so when I got home, I was opening up like the chips and the sandwich and all that. I was like, why is the packaging sticky? And I didn't connect it. Right? I was like, why is this sticky? And then BZ jumped on the bed and starts licking the bag like crazy. I was like, oh my God, that's Sarah's boob juice. <laughs> anyway, so I put what I had, still some was left, a little bit was left in the water bar, and I put it on Galaxy's eyes. I put it on a paper towel, and I dabbed his eyes with it or tried to wring it in his eyes a little bit. It was, it was, it was challenging. And I did that two days in a row, and it cleared up. Um, and the sick appointment, this place is amazing. It's called Copal. It's here locally in Columbus, Ohio. It's amazing. It's through Humane Society. And you, it's, the place is amazing. Everybody there is great. I want to give it, I always give a shout to them. I love them. Um, you just pay for like the visit or whatever. And it's really cheap. So a sick appointment, a wellness appointment is only $25. Sick appointment is 35 And so I wasn't able to cancel. It wouldn't let me cancel the appointment. And I was like, I don't want to be a no-show because I don't know if that messes up your name. And they've been really good to me, and I just don't want to not show up, you know. So, anyway, I took Galaxy in, which was a fight. Um, I have another little cat carrier I finally got from the open shoulder, where Galaxy was too big for it. So, I had to get the other one out and clean the second one. And we got to the appointment, and um, so I explained to him, I said, you know, I put, you know, I didn't say boob juice, but I told him about the uh, breast milk that I put in his eye, and I didn't want to cancel. And I, you know, told him that we kind of been through a lot these last few years, especially especially since November we've been there's been a lot of moving around and a lot of trauma for the animals and myself um I said and so we're finally at a place that we're finally getting some foundation here at least until we get you know our own place however we're in the basement and it's wet and it's mildewy and whatever and um so he checked him everything's fine and um he said you know because your situation we're gonna just waive the fee we don't you don't have to pay the 35 dollars which I would so grateful because they did I mean they did they still checked him out you know what I'm saying but nothing was wrong with him he's healthy 14 pound fucking cat was it 12 or 14 pounds I think it was 14 yeah he's a he's a he's a big daddy okay so um and I come home and I just it's it's exhausting it, it, with him it's just with the cats it's just emotionally and I I try to keep my cool and balance right look at the time so anyway um we finally get home and I take like a little nap I wake up and I go out to the front door and there's 15 cop cars out there and I did of course Sizen's app I have recorded Sizen's app and um apparently the the house it was at there's a woman that has all her kids and grandkids that live there well somebody in the household I'm not sure which person but they committed multiple you know unalivings um, in a car and there's like bullet holes in the car I guess whatever um and they've been they're at her house and they parked the car over her house and so they found you know the report was these kids jump kids but guys or whatever jumped over the fence they got them they got you know pulled downtown or whatever and so I was thinking about like it's always not always but majority of the time when people wake up they realize a lot of it a lot of um things that people fuck up in your life not that we don't make our own choices okay this isn't about us not taking responsibility it's about the energies that you allow around you and that sometimes we also get the karma in our, or I don't like, I don't hate the word victim, but you know, we are a victim of the circumstances of the people we keep in our energy. And so I was thinking a lot about that. And so it's been a long day. 
So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to come out back. You know, it's still pretty warm here, huh? It's still pretty warm here. But I'm, let me go out back. I need to go out back, you know, away from the police and all that. Because it was pretty intense. I was talking to all the you know, people up and down the street wanting to know what happened. And, and so, when I was sitting back here, I was like, you know what? I need to go and get my nails balanced and do some self-care. Or I need to, you know, take a gummy or something like self-care. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to use examples. This isn't what I did. I'm just giving examples. Um, I was thinking about getting my nails done, but I was thinking about self-care is the point. And it came to me, and I know I'm not the first person who said this. This isn't a new um, concept, but I'm just. But it just came to me, and I never realized it. How much I do this and collectively, a lot of people do this. Is that that's not self care, it's aftercare. Think about the things you've done for self care. I'm gonna go on this vacation, get away from my job that I hate. I gotta, I gotta have a girls' night. You know, get away from my partner, get away from my kids, or you know. And I'm not saying it's like this all the time, but just think about it for a second. It's like aftercare of things we've experienced, and it doesn't, it doesn't have to be hugely traumatic. It's just, you know, life in general. Um, it's kind of like aftercare to kind of like make us feel better because of our wounds. So it got me thinking, what is self-care? And it's different for everybody, granted. Um, but I was thinking something that's pretty common or things that are, damn it, sorry, I don't do any cigarette butts on the ground. I don't litter at all. Um, matter of fact, there's a guy who threw out a cigarette container today and I was about to cuss him out. But anyway, so it got me thinking about self-care. And, and figuring out a more universal, copywritten, so don't copy me, um, a more of like a universal type of thing where self-care is, again, this isn't nothing people haven't mentioned before, but setting boundaries. Not saying yes to things we want to say no to them. Because by doing these things, um, we are not putting ourselves in a position where we have to have aftercare, where we have to tend to our wounds or get back to a medium again and to raise our vibration up again. And not to say these things aren't ever going to happen. It's just, you know, it's about having boundaries, about not saying yes when we want to say no. It's about standing ten toes down on certain things that we feel strongly in our soul and spirit. It's about, for some of us, having a deeper understanding and connection with spirit. Um, Self-care is also self-caring to my spiritual side, to my uh, mental side, physical side. And so it's physical boundaries, spiritual boundaries. Um, uh, having even boundaries, not doing certain services when I don't feel aligned to it, regardless if I'm being paid. You know, when returning money, if I'm unable to provide a service. Um, and so there's, I mean, this is very broad, but I was just thinking about that. Like, my, what I've done for self-care in the past... Um, it, when I think about it, it's actually kind of wound care in a sense, you know, it's kind of like to get my soul and spirit balanced again, or to give myself a treat for doing a good job. And not that that's not, anything's wrong with that. It's, it's more like we're caring for wounds because of us having boundaries or for us allowing people place and things in our life that aren't good for us that don't mean well for us like family members or people that are close to us that you know you just don't know what they're doing you really don't know people um so i don't know i'm just i just thought about that and i wanted to kind of throw that out there to get people's thoughts on it like what do you do you see sometimes hi blue jay <gasps> hi he was be he's beautiful. You can't see because the branches are in the way, but I haven't seen the cardinal yet. But anyway, I was just, um, I want to know what your guys' thoughts were about self-care, actually wound care. I hope you're healthy and happy, full of joy. May you love and be loved. Be the change you want to see in the world. Have a good day.